Um, so Dean, just just tell us what it's like to win uh, one of these events, which which John Harrington, your your former boss, says uh, is very physical and very difficult, very hard. I think it was easy when I did it ten years ago. Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't easy. It was never easy. It was um, it was all a new concept then. Yeah. You know, f five riders in each team, fifty riders max, and then um, it was three based on three three event uh, three team riders yeah. um so winning the individual wasn't really what was it was all about but um it took everybody quite a bit of time to get into that so get it. to as get john it yeah saying, as john yeah. was saying I mean, there's plenty of reports around that in those times that you know i, I won the like briggsy won the first one i won the second one i won the third one but we didn't win the team yeah. so john was like oh yeah why is, what's happening i was like well i won the race i was like i got it but it's like mm -hmm. You know, if if a rider wins the race, it's then down to riders second and third in that team yeah. to back it up. You know, and if you get the wrong riders in the breakaway, which happened to to me, I you know I was a, a sprinter. We had some good endurance riders, um, so the endurance riders would probably be better off in the breakaway. Yeah. Uh, and one one, I think it was Woken. I went away on my own and they let me go <laughs> and, I, and I went on my own which was great and John told me off for winning which was <laughs> yeah we laugh about it now but in in all honesty it's like he it, it was right because yeah. you know it would have been great for Tommy Southam to go up the road or yeah. Darren Latform or Christian House like so yeah. and then me to back it up with a second or a third so yeah. it took a while for everybody to get into the swing of things mm. uh, but when we did like the Rafa Condor squad then it was it was great we were attacking in twos to get into in breakaways to make it count more um, we were looking out for each other taking riders from the back to the front together so you know it, it was a good time in the in the first few years and um, I was involved in the 2011 squad that, that won overall yeah. um, which was great for me personally and with John and Jimmy Mack and Windsor yeah. and Briggsy and Ed and you know so um all those years ago, it was uh, yeah a lot of fun, uh, but it is a very very hard style of racing. Yeah. Uh, just said to said to Ned Bolton as well that a lot of foreign riders have come over here and found it fast and furious, yeah. and struggled with the first few rounds, but then they get into it and it's like what is this kind of thing? It's like crit, race, crit racing yeah. to the to the world's best standard, really. Uh, no, no time for recovery on these sort of things. It's sprint. Sprint, recover, sprint, recover. Yeah, and it's exactly and it's exactly that for an hour plus five. So each round is real in the region of an hour and five minutes, an hour and ten. So it's it's exactly that. It's sprinting in and out of corners, and then if you want to go for the sprints, that's every fifteen minutes, and then if you want to go over the finish, it's after an hour and five. So you've got to think about how you deliver your effort. Yeah. Um, but what what I used to think about is how do I train for these efforts? Yeah. The only way of training for these efforts is by doing continuous repetitive sprint efforts and big power efforts and things like that so, so it's very different to the road very absolutely 100 yeah. percent, very very different to the road and i think in the very first year it's five weeks um road racing premier calendars in between yeah. there's a lot of riders that were nailed after like three four weeks um because they're doing 90 mile road races in between yeah. two tour series thursday, tuesday thursday so it, it you know it took it took a lot of planning on everybody's front with british cycling with calendar planning but um yeah it's a bit different now it's squeezed into three weeks kind of thing um for the lads so and very tactical because riders can actually get away and win and and it's not an easy win but tactically something that they can be let go because they're not a threat team wise to team wise yeah so i mean that's happened in in previous rounds and years that that does happen so mm. like a a rider that's in pot say a rider that's in the seventh yeah. team on gc maybe let go up the road because they know that those other riders within the team are not going to back it up and yeah. and and get a second or a fifth yeah. and a seventh to get the best team if if there's only three riders left in the team or four riders then that rider has the chance to win individual yeah. which still gets publicity for the for the team for the rider it's in the press but then the the whole concept of this the uh, the tour series is that it's a team based event now being four over three that it used to be so um yeah you know it's it is very tactical and you've got to look after your fourth man yeah. um which is difficult when you're riding <laughs> flat out around corners up yeah. hills like we've got here in Redditch and all at all at 45k average speed. Yeah. Um, it's not easy. And finally, what about the team and the, and the tour series? What are, what are the team's goals for its first year? 
It's it's a difficult. Like we we're a new team. We got put together in in October. We've had minimal racing. The guys have trained hard. We had a tough tour of Yorkshire, uh, so there're going to be some tired legs. But I want to get. And you've got a dual program. Uh, we've, yeah, we've got a bit of a dual program. So we've got five riders at the RAS. Um, and Frankie Campbell's managing over there for that, which is great. Um, but yeah, then we've got five riders and six riders that, are, that we can interchange yeah. over here with this, yeah. uh, with the Tour Series. So we'll we'll take it as it comes and see how the riders ride together. Yeah. We've got several riders that have done the events before, Tom Mazone yeah. and um, and Jake Womersley. Yeah. So they'll they'll know. We can ch- sit and chat about what the whole aspect of this Tour Series is, get it into the... The, the two young Italians and, and see how they go, and just working together and see how they see how they fare in the first couple of couple of rounds. And we just have to be honest, you know, like yeah. what what how do you feel it went? That kind of thing. It's nothing other than that what you can do and see how they see how they see how they fare in the the, the fastest criteria series in the world, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, so f- finally, for you watching it with you know being in the in the role that you're in, have you got any? I don't know. Um, Itchy legs to get out there? No, my legs are very hairy at the minute. <laughs> I've not ridden my bike for three months, but no, I wasn't. I wasn't involved in the team last year, 2017. No. Concentrated on my coaching yeah. a lot, which has been great. So now I'm just splitting the two, uh, which is still great. So I'm excited. I'm just excited to be passing on whatever um, knowledge I have to the young riders because we have a young team. Yeah. We have we have brother Russ who's uh, yeah. team captain out on the road mainly. So Russ probably won't do any of the, t- the tour series crits, yeah. but he'll be you know be working with the Irish riders and the RAS. Yeah. But then also he's worked with the with the young riders who've just come out of the tour, yeah. tour of Yorkshire. So uh, it's, for me, it's about pointing the young riders in the right direction, and it's it's another form of racing yeah. that they can add to their you know palmares or yeah. what they can be good at or you know or see if they can be good at. If they don't like it or struggle with it, then they're going to have to yeah. see see about that. But just passing on my experiences, what I've learned over the years working with people like John, with yeah. the organisers of the tour series and what it's all about. So it, it's another form of racing in the UK, which is brilliant for sponsorship yeah. and sponsors uh, for our halls of brand. Mm. So that's going to be good. You know, we'll be getting on television, yeah. you know, twice a week. So it's part of what we have to do as a team to look at qualification for Tour of Britain, which yeah. is run by the same organisers. So yeah. it all fits into what our overall 2018 plan is as a as a team. So for me, no issue legs to get back on the bike, <laughs> especially not in crits, which are flat out. Yeah. So, yeah, nice sunshine ride I'll do for a coffee, I think. <laughs> right, thanks very much, Dave. Cheers, man.